All right, I'm gonna show you some really amazing use cases that other teachers are doing, specifically in your subject area. So you walk out of here in just a couple minutes with some really great new ideas for how you can use quizzes in your subject area to really increase that engagement and that rigor with your students. All right, so let's start really simple, multiple choice, nothing crazy, but we know in the world of geometry, pictures, images, diagrams are very important. So the first thing I wanna show you is just that you can really, really easily put in any picture you want into any kind of multiple choice question. Beyond simply putting the images like into the actual question, putting the images as part of the question is a really common tactic among geometry teachers. So you can see here, this is a matching question. So you can put different images that would be matched to whatever the vocabulary word is or the phrase or whatever else you need. So this one here has an image in it, but it's a drop down question, which I love because especially with tangent, right? Opposite over adjacent, you would need the opposite over the adjacent. So it helps you pick two numbers or two components of a question. All right, so this is a math response question. Great for geometry teachers, A, you got the image here. You also have the ability to write in the math text. The students have the ability to respond in your math writing and they can even upload work, whether that be a picture from a device or on their computer, it has kind of everything all right there for you. And this one here is actually my favorite question type called hotspot because it's just so simple. Like you take an image and it's just basically like point to the thing on the image, circle, triangle, whatever diagram you want. And you just literally click on one option or multiple options, whatever you need for that picture. It also works here for taking a diagram and potentially marking it up, writing in the S or the A, whatever you'd want them to mark up in their diagram. Now I need you to know this, everything I just showed you, you can make yourself from scratch, but you don't have to make it yourself. Quizzes has thousands of pre-made activities. Look, if I search for a certain topic, you'll see it's already probably made. So you can grab plenty of stuff from other people and mix and match and make whatever you want your own. So you don't need to make anything from scratch if you don't want to. All right, I really hope that was valuable and you can see a lot of things specific for your subject, but I can't end this video without showing you two more things. First, the Quizzes AI. If you have not explored Quizzes AI yet, you have to check it out. Simply put, you can create your quiz from anything with AI. And I know it sounds like an exaggeration, but like take a YouTube video, turn it into a quiz. Take a picture of your worksheet, turn it into a quiz. Type in a prompt, turn it into a quiz. Whatever you need in this studio right here, you'll be able to turn it into your quiz. And the second thing I have to show you is our accommodations. No matter what quiz you're assigning, no matter how you're assigning it, tests, formative assessment, you can give accommodations to your students. So you can put students in groups and you can choose which students get exactly what they need to be successful. So maybe that's extra time. Maybe it's having the questions read aloud to them. Maybe it's reducing answer choices. So students in the classroom are getting different versions of the exact same quiz so that they get exactly what's successful. It is incredible. I hope very much that this video was helpful for you seeing how quizzes can be beneficial for you in your subject area.